The Lauren Street detour should be switching over to Lauren South as of tonight, but there are some possible bigger detours coming, according to Mark Misko with the District of Muskoka, following the long weekend. The initial south closure that we have in place right now uh, was intended to be lifted as of yesterday. They did a bit of extra work in that intersection, which resulted in them staying in there till today. Uh, so that's going to be flipped to the north closure by end of day today. So what that would mean is that Lawrence Street South would now become the detour around. So no more heading out to uh, Caroline and Susan Streets. Um, that'll be in place roughly until May 20th, which is the Friday before the long weekend. Um, after that point, the closure in that intersection will be lifted for the weekend. It'll be in gravel. So May long weekend, it'll be kind of flanked around both sides. The block section of Main Street from Lawrence to Centre will still be closed. Um, but the Lorne intersection will be open to what I'll call three-way traffic through there. Um, after that, we're looking at, uh, that's, so that's the long weekend said and done. The following week, uh, we're looking at a potential uh, full intersection closure is what we're working on right now. And what that's being done for is to accommodate some of the fine grading uh, and, and some of the structural um, final adjustments they need to make. And this, this needs to be done without vehicle traffic in the intersection. So they're looking for a full closure. And some of that work is gonna be things like um, your stormwater catch basins need to be lifted so they can match your asphalt uh, final surface. The, the manholes and that stuff need to be adjusted. So that takes some time. We also wanna make sure that the asphalt that we're uh, placing is right on the elevation we need it to be. And we can't have vehicle traffic interfering with that. So that does take them some time. So that's, uh, that's the, the short week after the long weekend. Uh, after which point they're looking at a uh, potential one day closure in that area for paving. So that'll be fairly quick. Um, we're also looking into is night work feasible in this area to alleviate some of the daytime traffic concerns. Um, but like I said, we're working with the contractor on this. So more details to follow. Uh, obviously any detours um, that are changing or being put in place, we'll be sharing through, through our uh, website and comms channels um, in advance of that. So that's kind of, the next couple of weeks in a nutshell, uh, I guess you could say, and a um, little bit more traffic, you know, congestion through there, but light at the end of the tunnel once again. Meanwhile, one business owner caught in the middle of this construction this summer says he's completely fed up with it as it's affecting traffic to his business. On a day like this where it's, you know, we're in the 20s and it's a beautiful sunny day, we can't use our patio. We, people don't want to walk around the barricades. They don't want to walk two blocks in total. They don't want to listen to that noise we just heard. Um, it's just really disruptive. The sidewalks have been closed multiple times within the past, past few weeks. And it's a real pain in the behind to deal with this stuff. As per the website that was put out for this, the digging downtown, um, they're not supposed to close off the sidewalks. Our sidewalks have been closed. Traffic's been impeded. Custom flow has been cut off, and that's not cool at all. We've missed the deadline on getting impact to come in and reassess our taxes on the fact that we are not able to use our storefront the way we're supposed to and how it was meant to be used. And um, we're paid up until March 31st for our taxes. And honestly, I'm not paying a cent until my grievances are heard and met by both entities, by the town, by the mayor, by whoever's going to listen, because right now we're not getting our money's worth as far as I'm concerned.